Hey, what's up everybody? It's Cody with Blood Money MMA Bets and I'm back with another official bets video. This is for UFC Long Island, Yair Rodriguez versus Brian Ortega. Um, it's going to be a great card, man. Got some really good fights on there. I have five bets for this card, five really nice bets, and um, I really like my spots. We're going to do a quick recap of UFC Vegas 58, then we'll get right into these uh, UFC Long Island bets. UFC Vegas 58, I went 3-2 and two on my bets for plus .85 units. Um... My three winning bets, I had Kennedy and Jokwu, 1.75 units to win 1.75 units. And man, um, he dominated his fight, got an easy victory for us. Second winning bet was Jamie Malarkey, 3.6 units to win 1.5. And not so easy of a fight, but um, yeah, man, that fight was back and forth. Could have went either way. I'm, I'm glad I finally got a win like that. Uh, third winning bet was Kyle Barallo. I had 2.25 units to win 1.5 units, and he dominated Armand Petrosi in the whole fight. Um, looked really good. That kid's going to be a problem. Two losing bets. First one was Treshawn Gore, 2.1 units to win two units, and man, um, he just got caught, man. It is what it is. Uh, that sucked. Second losing bet was Ricky Turkios, 1.8 units to win one. And, uh, yeah, man, that was terrible. He threw, like, 240-something shots and only landed 27. He just kept kicking air and um, high on. So, yeah, that was a bad bet. We'll know how to uh, bet both them guys going better forward. Um, <clears throat> that brings my official Brett record to 121 and 85 for plus 44.05 units. You know, my units are $100, so I'm up $4,405, and I'm definitely adding on to it this week. Um, won two big weeks in a row, and um, I'm going to make it three in a row for sure here. Let's get to this uh, UFC Long Island card, man. I got five bets on it. I got three underdogs, one uh, favorite, and then one parlay. So let's get into it. My first underdog. I'm going to go in the biggest order of what they were plus money. <clears throat> First one is Yair Rodriguez. Got him at plus 135. And, uh, man, I really like him in this fight, man. Um, I think this fight's going to stay standing. Brian Ortega is no D1 wrestler. Uh, Yair Rodriguez has pretty good offensive and defensive wrestling. Um, he was take, caught off guard and taken down by, like, Max Holloway, but he's not held down. He's able to get up. He's got good jujitsu. So it's not like even if he gets taken down um, right away, I'm, I'm – like concern that he's really going to get submitted within the first 30 seconds of being on the ground so yeah man i'm going to take yeah year at plus 135 i got 1.5 units to win 2.05 units and um yeah man i like him i think that's a 50 50 fight and i can't wait to watch that fight too it's going to be really good next underdog is dao un jung now, i know he's not an underdog now but when i bet him he was he was plus 125 i have two units doing 2.5 units and uh yeah man i just really like him in this fight i um i think that he's gonna have the better grappling he's got a nice judo he's got good boxing he's got good stand-up i think he's got more power than jacoby but he definitely has the stand-up to hang with jacoby i think he's got a better gas tank and he, i think he can use his judo to land some takedowns and wear on jacoby and he's got a nice clinch nice elbows in the clinch so uh yeah, man, um, when I seen him at plus 125, I had to take him. I know he's a favorite now, and um, he probably should be, but it's going to be a really good fight too. So, yeah, Daun Jung, two units to win 2.5. Uh, Third underdog bet is Jessica Panay. I got her at plus 120. I have 1.75 units to win 2.1 units, and um, I just like her, man. She's got all the UFC experience. She's got two really good wins in a row, one over Lupita Godinez, one over Carolina uh, Carolina Kov Kovalitsky. Um probably said that wrong but uh yeah man she's impressed me in both of them fights too actually i mean i know the the lupita fight was iffy but like still lupita's a beast and for her to even go them three hard rounds she hadn't fought a pro fight in like four years um i really like her her striking ain't bad she's gonna have a three inch height three inch reach advantage her striking is good enough to strike with uh dakota i know dakota's got dakota's got pretty good striking really nice technical striking but um panay can uh can hang with her in the striking area she hung with lupita when she was on the feet with her and then i believe that um panay is going to be able to land takedowns grind on her in a clinch uh also uh dakota's coming in on short notice about three weeks short notice um panay was supposed to fight brianna fortuna but that fight was called off so everything's leaning towards panay she's bigger she's got more experience i know she's a little older but that that don't really bother me in women's uh mma because the age usually ain't too much of a factor in women's mma speaking of that fourth bet is misha tate i got her at minus 170 i have 3.4 units to win two units on her and um i really like it man um she's 35 uh lauren murphy's 38 so she's actually younger she's one inch bigger she looked thicker today than lauren murphy um and this is her first fight at 125 and i think she's gonna look really good there um i think she's got the uh, the stand up that i think she's gonna have a speed advantage on lauren murphy and um I'll, she's gonna have a grappling advantage on lauren murphy so um i really like her to get the win i don't 
don't know if she gets a stoppage, but it, like um, like she did with Marion Renault. But if she can land some takedowns and get on top and land some ground and pound, she could either find a submission because she's got a really good BJJ. So she could either find a submission or she might be able to get a ground and pound uh, finish. But I, I would say by decision. So yeah, Misha Tate, 3.4 units to win two. And I really like that. And my fifth and final bet, the only parlay that I have on this card, I have Sue Madarji and Amanda Lemos. I have 1.9. One one point nine five units um, to win one point five units, and I, I like this parlay. I think it's pretty safe. I think Suma Darji is going to have a little bit of a size advantage. Um, he hits harder. He throws longer, more accurate punches than Schnell. Schnell's got a suspect chin. Um, Suma Darji has been submitted at four times in his four losses, but um, them it's been a little while for them. And um, Matt Schnell ain't really like a wrestler to take you down and submit you. He, he's he's got more triangle submissions where he's been taken down and then hit the triangle on his opponent. So. Um, Suma Darji is not taking him down. I think he'll have the uh, takedown defense to keep a stand. And, and there, I think see at some point, he's going to touch Snell's chin. So uh, I really like uh, Suma Darji in that second round by TKO. And um, Lemos, to finish off that parlay, I really like her, man. She's going to have the power advantage. She's going to have um, the striking advantage, in my opinion. Uh, she's going to be a little bit bigger. Um, Michelle Rodder Watterson hasn't fought for a little while. She was supposed to fight on the Columbus card that I went to in March, March 26th. And uh, she was supposed to fight Amanda Hebos and had an injury, they said. And they said it was, like, career-threatening. Uh, like, her career might be over from it. And now she's fighting, like, three months later. She's shooting movies in Hollywood. Um, yeah, man. I mean, I still would have liked the Lemos anyways. But uh, another thing is Watterson's on her last uh, uh, last deal on her contract. So um, if she loses this fight, she she might retire. And I think that um, they gave her a really tough fight, you know, to, to come back to on your last, last fight under your contract. So, yeah, I think Amanda Lemos, I don't think she finishes her. I think she gets a hard-fought decision. Even if she gasses in the third round a little bit, um, Lemos, like she kind of has before, um, Michelle Watterson's last eight fights have gone to decision, so she's not finishing anybody. So um, even if Lemos should dominate the first two rounds, maybe she loses the third, but she might win all three. Maybe her gas tank would be a little better. But, um, yeah, I got Amanda Lemos and Suma Darji on that 1.9 units to win 1.5, and I really like all five of them bets, man. Um, this card had a lot of, like, fights that I thought were 50-50, and then they'd have uh, one of the favorites as a pretty big favorite. So I'm going to – take the other side of that excuse me um but uh yeah i want to thank everybody for watching um i want to thank everybody for liking and subscribing um everybody if you want to too please go to my instagram and check it out it's at blood money mma bets it's where i post these betting slips i was just reading off to you and um you'll get some of my bets a little earlier in this so appreciate everybody thank you guys for commenting everybody right now please like and subscribe too fights will be on in like 12 13 hours so good luck everybody um i hope everybody hits let's beat these bookies man see you guys later